What is going on guys, Marijn here and welcome to another episode of My Shredder Lifestyle. Today is day two of my photo shoot prep. It is Friday the 21st of June, 6.40 in the morning. And um, today I hit a new low weigh-in, which was to be expected because yesterday I had my first low carb day. So um, today I'm gonna do the same thing, have low carbs, also hit a workout, depletion workout, and drink shit loads of water. It is time to repeat the process all over again. Let's get it started. The water struggle continues today. Gotta hit eight liters today as well. Tomorrow we're gonna even up that. Didn't sleep that much last night. Got about four, four and a half hours of sleep. Um, just couldn't sleep anymore when I woke up this morning. But I like, I do feel tired in my eyes. But I know that when I close them, I just can't sleep. So I don't know what it is. It's fucked up. Definitely has to do with this diet. I've been able to sleep perfectly throughout all the weeks that I've been cutting. Um, this is currently week number 14. Uh, throughout all the last weeks, it's been completely fine. So it is just these last bits now that um, I don't know, I'm physically just messed up. Also, let me show you guys the morning physique. <laughs> On a road right now, gonna break my fast with a meal that I prepped. Uh, you guys actually saw me make this in the last vlog. It is the, literally the minced meat, and then I boiled some broccoli this morning. This is a very plain meal, but uh, you know, it is what it is. This is how the diet gets right now. This is surprisingly delicious for a cold meal. <laughs> the hunger is real. It's a few hours later now. I'm here with Rowan. What up, what up? We are uh, in The Hague in some random spot. Nice week. The ice bike. The ice bike, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we had a meeting here something about something I cannot tell you guys about yet. Very exciting stuff. But I wasn't well prepared today. I only brought one meal. Uh, but it's actually a bunch of hours later now. We are hungry. You didn't eat much today either. It's still fasted. Yeah, it's still fasted, man. The My Shredded Lifestyle. So we are at the Albert Hein. But this is when things are going to get hard, right? Because the problem is I cannot pick all these foods that I would normally pick. You know, Rowan is probably going to have like, one of these salads you can pick up here or some pre-packaged chicken, but I cannot have all that uh, because that has a lot of sodium in and like I cannot, you know, I want to keep my sodium intake steady so I can only eat foods that add sodium to myself, right? Uh, also cannot really, I can eat a little bit of fruit though because I have some carbs, 75 grams of carbs today, so I'm gonna have some uh, low calorie fruit. Watermelon and unsalted cashews because I am allowed to have a decent amount of fats into my diet. Not a lot, but enough to fit this in. Some protein in here as well. We are literally sitting in the middle of the street. Everything for the game. So driving back to Nijmegen now and staying hydrated during the day. Uh, this one is really nice because it's a 800 milliliter bottle and I need exactly eight liters today. So I have to kill 10 of these, right? So, but I ran out of water. At a gas station, just picked up another liter. So far, I am on four liters already. It's going well, and I also think I've been to the bathroom at least four or five times today. So I just had to pull over at a gas station to pick up a coffee and to literally to just get out the car because like my eyes were falling down while driving. Couldn't keep them open. I like falling asleep, man. Energy levels are so freaking low. All right, guys, so we're back at my place. And for those that don't know Rowan yet, he is my partner with My Shredded Lifestyle. Uh, many of you already know this, but for any new subscribers. And uh, first of all, it was actually three of us. So yeah, yeah. maybe you want to explain uh, what changed. Yeah, a lot of things changed, man. Before we were, we were with three of us, with uh, Sander. But Sander had a different company, uh, something with car. I think car tuning, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, his passion for cars was a lot bigger than his passion for fitness. And uh, that's the reason he decided to uh, go for a, a second company. And yeah. that's why we Which is separate. great because you gotta chase your passion, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah of so, course, uh, of course. If one company makes you happiest, gotta do what makes you happy, right? Of course, my passion is fitness also. So yeah, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. A, lot, a lot of in the gym. Sometimes we're moving, we, need to, do, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. need to do that often. Yeah, so, so the two of us are uh, continuing the company together. Um, I bought the shares from Sander yesterday, which uh, I said in yesterday's vlog, that something big was happening yesterday a big like weight fell off my shoulder uh, in a way, course, you know, because it is like we've been working towards that for a long time as well. It was a very long like process. 
half year. Yeah, it's, it's been like half a year. Now, so <laughs> so uh, yeah, so yeah. we are happy now, like like because everything you know is going smooth now and yeah, uh, it's yeah. time for new things in the future, man. And we are growing. And uh, yeah, and maybe we are growing the, very the, very fast. Maybe you can uh, tell the news about. Yeah, the news is pretty uh, pretty very big as well because uh, as you guys might know, as you guys most likely know, I actually run three companies. Student Aesthetics, which was my first company. Uh, I was also my YouTube name before. Uh, that's, you know, when I started, when I was a student, I started you know, helping people in their fitness journey. At some point, I started monetizing this uh, by you know, making customized programs because I got like, so many questions like, Moran, can you make me a program? At first, I did all of that for free. Uh, when I started, when I was 19 years old, back in university, and at some point, you know, obviously, my YouTube channel started growing. More people started asking me, so that is the moment when I started, you know, charging for my time, obviously. So um, that started doing really, really well. At some point, I was able to drop out of university to chase my passion, which is, you know, helping people with their fitness journey. That's when student aesthetics really started kicking off, and um, that is when the online coaching business really started growing. Then later on, we started My Shorter Lifestyle with the three of us, and then also Crystal Limited. But now there is going to be a little change here in the three businesses because they're going to be two. Student aesthetics is going to get into My Shorter Lifestyle. They're going to go together and a student aesthetic, this is like the real end of student aesthetics. Dude, I made yeah. a video before, the end yeah, of student yeah, aesthetics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was not actually the end because it was still, it was still there, but now it's gone. This is the end, man. This is the end and the start of a new beginning because now basically nothing is gonna change. The coaching is just gonna be under the My Short Lifestyle name. Um, so I'm gonna coach clients under the My Short Lifestyle website, which makes a lot more sense, right? Because you know, I like marketing wise and sales wise it's uh, because people come to the website or people like, read the book, they buy the book, they you know, use the information and then they're like, you know, you know what, this is great but I actually want a personalized program for Moran and then they have to go to a different website to Student Aesthetics. It actually didn't make any sense. No, no, no. Right, right but it was no. just the way that it went and um, you know, yeah, my yeah, short yeah, lifestyle yeah. just grew a lot faster and, and yeah. I mean, we, we, we got a bigger name than the Student Aesthetics, so. Yeah, you it's, know. it's pretty logic step. It's a, like it's a logic step. Yeah. Like evolution. It's like evolution, yeah. 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 So. We gotta keep growing, man. So um, this is the official end of student aesthetics. Uh, but, uh, so if you want to get coached by me, that is still possible. And, um, and uh, the link in the YouTube description is now just different. It is just all under the My Shorter Lifestyle website. So it uh, makes it easier for everybody as well, I guess. Of course, of course. Yeah. I think so. Also marketing-wise and with the, with the app, with the own app. Obviously. Uh, it works both ways for, du for our Dutchies and English uh, customers. Yeah. So. Yes, I'll also be doing coaching both in Dutch and in English. And uh, before with, with the Student Aesthetics app, that was actually all in English. So now it is also possible to get coached by me in the Dutch language. So uh, for the Dutchies, that is something new. Yeah. Uh, any other updates? <laughs> That's it, I guess, man. Together to the top, bro. That's it, yeah. And I'm cooking the next meal. Got some chicken here and veggies. Nothing special. Gonna have the green pesto just like yesterday. 175 grams of chicken, 30 grams of pesto and 300 grams of veggies. Right, so by now it is six, and um, I am completely done. This is uh, the worst day during this cut, I would say, in terms of energy or just the way that I feel. I don't know if it's the driving, or just like, I, th I think it's just constantly like, not just talking to people, but also like mentally just really, really focusing. Today has just been a very intensive day, you know, and I'm like, I've been up since freaking six this morning, and now it is six in the afternoon so it has been like 12 hours of like activity so pretty done with the freaking day but um the day's not over yet because i haven't done my physical activities of the day yet so um we still got to put in the work but for now it's time for some food the pre-workout meal got four whole eggs here and that is pretty much it scrambled and then um, i'm gonna have some tomatoes with that didn't feel like really cooking up a meal just something quick i'm gonna lay here for a bit watch siri get some freaking rest and um, also sip on more water because we still have some more liters to freaking down. All right, laying on the couch did not do me any well. Felt like going straight to sleep. Almost fell asleep actually. But this is why we're gonna put some pre-workout into us. This is surely gonna help. Gonna do a bit more than one scoop even. One and a quarter scoop. And guys, all my protein supplements, including this pre-workout, 35% off by using my code and the link in the description box down below. So today I'm training legs and this is another depletion workout. Uh, so yesterday I did upper body, as you saw in that video. And tomorrow I will do another upper body depletion workout. Then a day rest and then three more full body depletion workouts, right? So that's a lot of workouts now. Uh, these depletion workouts are weightlifting sessions that are really geared towards exhausting your body's muscle of glycogen supply. And muscle glycogen is the source form of carbohydrates. Now the reason we do that is, you know, the same reason why I'm not eating any carbs 
to deplete my body completely of glycogen. And then later during this photoshoot prep, we're gonna completely fill our bodies up with carbs again. And that will be the carb up phase. And that is the last day, right the day before the photo shoot. So what we're gonna do is high reps, 15 to 20 reps. And what's most important for the glycogen depletion workouts is to not take too much rest in between sets. So it is one minute rest in between all these sets. Uh, so this session is very short. It is full body, but it's also very, very taxing because by now, you know, my body is absolutely done. Like I literally feel like I'm in a full on starvation mode. I'm hungry all day. My energy levels are low. And even though these workouts are not that hard because it's only machines, these are still way tougher than, you know, normally when I would do uh, my regular workouts when I have carbs and I have enough calories and energy. And next to legs, I'm also doing some apps and sticking to just one exercise, the cable crunch, and also doing this for 20 reps per set. And here at the end, I'm showing you my physique and you can see that like everything is coming in, the obliques, the serratus, uh, the lower abs, the lower ab veins, everything is getting there. So I am super, super excited for the end product. Most fatigued I've ever pretty much felt, to be honest. Um, still have to do cardio though, because I didn't have time early on the day. But today after legs, it's only 25 minutes of cardio. Cannot do incline walking right now because my legs are too sore to be walking on. So bicycle, that's it. 25 minutes. Oh man, the thought of this bullet oats got me through the leg workout. That is actually pathetic. This is my last bullet oats though, for real. Up until after the photo shoot, because tomorrow I don't have enough carbs left anymore. That taste of accomplishment. Something else in my last vlog, I talked about me competing with myself and like not competing against anyone else, trying to beat my own shape. Uh, with that, I didn't mean to talk negative about, you know, doing shows or competing against other people uh, because that is, you know, great as well. I am a competitive person, um, you know, like doing competing against other people and like doing competitions or shows or games when it's football or whatever it is. That is a great thing as well. Like it's not always you versus you. It's also great to compete against other people and use that as a motivation. But at the end of the day, I always think it's about, you know, beating yourself and taking yourself uh, to another level. With that said, when it comes to like, you know, business and all these things, it's kind of the same thing as well, like proving other people wrong. It is sort of like always like a great motivation when someone says, you know, you can't do it and you, you, you know, you do it anyway, and you prove them wrong. Uh, but at the end of the day, that is not really a feeling that is gonna last. Um, so I think that like those things are kind of good to motivate you, but not like, it's not like in a deeper sense that should not be the motivation. If you guys know what I mean. That said, I didn't mean anything negative about competing against other people, like doing shows, etc. Um, I'm, I was just saying that I'm competing against myself, but I do believe that. And I do, you know, strongly feel that natural bodybuilding and like natural physique shows these days are a joke. And I think most people that have been into fitness uh, for a while, for the last few years, definitely agree with me as far as, you know, where the fitness scene has been heading. With that said, I'm not saying I would never do a competition. I'm just not doing it right now. Anyway, let me enjoy this amazing bowl of goodness. By now it is 10. I just took a shower and your boy is already in bed. But I'm not sleeping yet. I'm actually reading because, yes, your boy reads. I am a dropout, but I will always be a student of life. And I will always keep learning new stuff right? Because that is very, very important. Never stop learning, no matter what you do. If you think that you know everything, you have a fucking massive ego. There is something to learn from everyone, right? And that is often what, what people like think that are, you know, like, like some people just, just get it in their heads, man. They, they, they get one like little win or, you know, they get a little bit of success and all of a sudden they don't want to listen to anyone anymore, right? Because they think they know it all. I hate these fucking People, there's literally something to learn from everyone and that has nothing to do with how much money you have or how much success you have obtained in one area because someone else might know something about, you know, something else. And like, that's just the interesting shit of life, you know, is, is to learn more stuff about different things, man. Uh, with that said, guys, I did not get successful on accident. There's a lot of steps that I've taken. There's a lot of things that I've learned. There's a lot of failures I've made. And you know, like things that I always try to, you know, improve for myself, you know, and try to learn about because, you know, being successful is one thing. Staying successful is another thing, man. Once you get success, it is very easy to like, you know, get the hang of it, you know, enjoy it, like, like think that you've made it right. And then um, a lot of people start slacking and that is when you fuck up because you don't always stay at the top. If you don't work, you got to keep going. I haven't shared that many books on my channel, but I've actually been reading plenty of books on completely different subjects. Um, so this book that I'm reading now is called Psycho Cybernetics. And I'm pretty sure, like I just started this, but, it's, but I'm pretty sure that this is about visualization. And that is a subject that I wanna learn more about because I think that is gonna take me and all our businesses to the next 
freaking level. And I think that visualization is something that I have done a lot, but like not on purpose. And I think that if, if I like learn about this stuff and if I be able to do this stuff on purpose, um, great shit will come from it. And um, so like the reason I, I know about this or I got this book recommendation is because I literally just like, I study and I like listen to and look at other successful people in different areas and see what they have to teach me and, and like different stuff. And then somehow I got this book recommendation from some successful person. I'm not sure who it was, but um, I just started looking on, like I heard someone talk about visualization. I was like, fuck man. Yeah, definitely something I'm excited about learning. Uh, I'll let you guys know once I finished it. If this is even about that, I think it is, but um, yeah, we'll see. So with that said, I'm gonna wrap up this video and I'll see you guys uh, literally tomorrow. I'll start shooting another vlog and that will be up very, very soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this again. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave your comment down below and I'll see you soon. Peace out. <laughs>